Welcome to TPI, the global leader in test products. And here we're going to have a quick look at the SP341 smart temperature meter for taking a variety of different temperatures with various different probes and for different applications for air, for water, for um, liquids. For surfaces at the top of the sp341 this will take any standard k type probe with the sub mini connector here we have an air probe plugged in so the first thing we're going to do is just if we turn on the sp341 um, as with all our other devices tap to scan you'll see the sp341 up in the device list Tap on there and it will automatically connect. You'll see the green light start to flash and here we'll then have a live temperature. We'll see that that's a live temperature. So if I just heat this up with my fingers from here, then we can create a report really quickly for that one temperature. Grab the GPS location as it does with all our devices for all our reports. And here we can then call this see it's something different so let's just call this this was a live sort of kitchen air temperature and if we hit set now we have the kitchen air temperature serial number of the device the date and time and what that temperature was we can email that as a single report we can print that out to our optional bluetooth printer or we can start to build up lots of different temperature readings within a particular building. It could be really good for Legionella temperature testing. If you record the temperatures at various different office spaces, rooms. Here we have a job set up, which is the SP341 and a Legionnaire's test. We click on that and then those readings as a live reading are set to that job. Um, you can also do differential temperatures. Even though we've only got one temperature probe here, we can still perform differential temperatures. So how we do that is we swipe across, click on differential temperature, you'll see that's differential temperature one device. If you've got two SP341s, you can simultaneously connect two devices. Just tap here to connect the second device and you'll see the readings from both devices with the differential temperature on the bottom. But as I say here, we've got one device, so we'll flip back across. And to do differential temperature, um, what we do is we tap the reading to hold the first reading. You'll see that that is stored. Then we get the live reading on the bottom. I'm just going to make that change in here. And then if we tap to hold that reading, this gives us the first reading, the second reading, and then the difference between the two. If that's in a negative, then that's going to go red. If it's in a positive, then that's going to actually stay blue. Now we've done a differential temperature. We can do the same again. We can create the report. Grab the GPS location again. This says differential temperature, one device. That's a standard reference. We can change that. We can see a differential temperature. And again, we can call that whatever you want, but let's put in kitchen. Hit set and now we have differential temperature kitchen with the readings and color coded again in the report and as with all our reports GPS located again email the individual report print it out to a Bluetooth printer or we can save it to job again it's gonna now ask us do we want to save it to the same job let's do that so we hit save and now the differential temperatures are now saved with the job so let's go and have a look at that job and see what that looks like and what we can do with that so let's just back out from here and oh there you go we get a nice little reminder up there telling us to pack up all our smart devices pop them away so that we don't leave those lying around and back to the main menu and up in the top left hand corner we have job management and so we're going to look at the open jobs you'll have a list of those on the screen there we were working and sending readings to the sp341 lk and here you see details of the job that we sent those readings to. And in the bottom, you can view the reports. So here we have the kitchen air temperature and the differential temperature. And again, any of these, we can click in and see the details from that report. But now you've got all the reports, um, you want to sign this off and email it out. So 
Um, let's have a look at that. So first off, we hit sign off. We can then choose the readings. Um, we may choose all of them. We may choose only the two that we did today, or we may choose the three. Um, the, the, the choice is yours. Um, and then we sign off those reports. Again, it's a final reminder there, just to make sure that you have picked up um, all your devices. Or we have um, the customer name would be in here. So here we've just done a little test. So we hit next test. We can get the customer to, to sign off. And we hit save. Email. And here we're just going to hit just once. And you can see the reports are all created um, within the email section. So we have differential temperature, kitchen air temperature. And if we look in, we go. And as you can see now, all those reports, as well as having the details that we were able to view on, have the engineer details, the company details, and also the customer details and their signature. As you'll notice now, when we go back to the open jobs, that report is gone. Don't worry, you haven't lost it. We can click into view closed jobs, and here we have the SP341 that we were looking at. View the report, and all the reports are still there, even the one that we didn't email out. And again, that one we didn't email out, you can still see the readings, and you can still add a later date email or print those out. So that's a review of the SP341 temperature device. So visit our website, www.tpieurope.com. There'll be a link there through to our YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.